Good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, you can probably tell from my voice there's a little bit of an air of excitement in my voice and that is because we've come to see probably one of my favourite, favourite birds and that is the peregrine falcon. I absolutely love the peregrine falcon. A bird that's completely captured my imaginations from being a small boy um, I used to do drawings of it out of my, my little RSPB uh, or my Collins bird book. Um, I absolutely love the peregrine falcon. And so I believe that this is one of the best places to come and see the peregrine falcon. I'm not far from the Clifton Suspension Bridge. I'm in the city of Bristol and I've come to see if I can find this most spectacular of predators the absolute apex of nature's design. Um, they are, without doubt, a sublime bird. And you'll see me, I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to see one, fingers crossed anyway. So come along for the journey and see what I see. Well, we've not had that many opportunities to do pieces to camera because as you can probably tell, it is incredibly windy. But oh my word, have we had some amazing, amazing opportunities to photograph the peregrine. Um, not been here very long and straight away I found the peregrine perched on a cliff to my right. Um, and then it took off, it flew across the valley onto the other side, onto a dead tree and then the second peregrine arrived and they started to mate which was absolutely fantastic to see um, I thought by now they would have laid eggs but they must be a little bit late laying their eggs because they're still actively breeding but absolutely fantastic to see them That was just insane. There was actually three peregrines up in the sky. Um, and there was two males which, oh, I thought that was one coming past me then. There was two males which I think were probably um, competing with one another. And they were certainly dueling in the sky. There were a couple of times when the, the, the lower peregrine would invert, show its talents to the peregrine that was above it. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Along came a buzzard and the peregrines took exception to the buzzard and started to swoop at it or stoop at it, which was just absolutely insane. You know, a buzzard probably twice its size, inverting, holding its talons up and keeping the, the peregrine off it. Um, it was enough to push the buzzard through the valley and it's now moved on. As you can probably tell, it is freezing up here and it is gusting and it is very windy. And as you can probably see, I am stood atop a cliff right close to the edge in this gusty wind. So I'm keeping all the Pops's camera tight. It's never once got out of my hands, but it's well worth it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm getting some good photographs to show. It's been quite challenging at times. Um, the, the background on the other side of the valley is very contrasty. So to get the autofocus system to focus and track on the peregrine at times is quite challenging. 
but my word, what a fantastic experience. Well, it has been absolutely insane here. <clears throat> um, I'm shooting today with the 400 mil. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've not had the teleconverter disengaged once. Um, so I'm shooting at 560 and um, I'm shooting with a wide open aperture of F4 and my shutter speed predominantly have been, has been around 4,000th of a second. And the reason for that is that, as you know, the Peregrine Falcon Wow. <laughs> As you know, the Peregrine Falcon is the fastest animal on the planet. And when they stoop, they reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Um, they're an absolutely sensational bird. Their aerodynamics, they're a, they're a teardrop shape. Um, and many plane companies have actually used their aerodynamics of the Peregrine Falcon in their own design. Um, when they stoop and they lock onto their, uh, their prey, they reach terminal velocity of 200 mile an hour in a matter of seconds. Um, the speeds that they're traveling, the amount of air that's passing through their nostrils would actually explode their lungs. And to compensate that, they've got um, a valve in their nostril and the valve in the nostril deflects the air from going straight into their lungs. It's actually something that the jet engine has adapted and used um, to improve the airflow through the jet engine. Other things that make them an absolutely sensational animal is they're all the time using their eyesight, eight times more powerful than the human eyesight. So to make sure that their eyesight is absolutely intact as they're stooping at 200 mile an hour, they've got um, a, a membrane that flicks backwards and forwards over the eye and that clears any debris and keeps the eye moist, stops it from drying out so that the eye can remain locked onto their prey. Absolutely sensational, sensational raptor. What you're waiting for here is for them to kind of fly past at eye level uh, with the top of this cliff because as you're probably aware most most of the time when you're photographing birds of prey in flight you're looking up and you're getting them against a, that white background and it's just not an appealing shot at all and um, so the beauty of being stood on the top of the cliff is that you can photograph them at eye level or them actually be below you and um, so there's a real gusty wind coming in through this valley um, and we're, you know, I'm being buffeted by that wind constantly. But what that's meaning is that the peregrines are using that wind to their advantage and it's keeping them soaring through this, through this valley at about eye level. So it's a case of tracking them in and there's one just to my left now, it's banking its way around and then tracking it. And then as it comes through the valley at eye level, getting the photograph. Um, I've had a quick look on the back of the camera and I've got some fantastic photographs or at least they look like it on the back of the camera. I hope, I hope that they transfer into the images that I believe that I'm capturing. This has got to be the best day photographing peregrines I've ever had. What a sublime, sublime experience it is. Absolutely breathtaking.
as is always the case when you're photographing raptors is you have periods of absolute craziness and periods of, of inactivity. There have been more occasions of craziness, I would say, up here on the cliffs, um, but you still get these periods of inactivity and they do give you opportunities to reflect on the photographs that you've had. And I've just been reviewing some of the images on the back of the screen and I've got some absolutely fantastic shots some really nice eye level shots of the peregrine as they've been passing uh, passing by but the the absolute standout moment was when the two peregrines well the three there were three at one point were mobbing the, the buzzard as it was flying through the valley that will stay with me for a long time what an incredible experience that was a buzzard a huge raptor in its own right and a formidable a formidable um, opponent but the, the peregrines were just fearless. They were constantly flying down and mobbing it. And obviously this is a nest site for peregrines. Um, they, they have been breeding and I've filmed them breeding and they're nesting on the cliff to my right. Um, so the peregrines won't tolerate any other raptors in the area. Oh, that wind. To give you an idea, of how strong that wind is. I've got my camera on its tripod and I'm on a, a Gitzo Series 5 tripod, which is a very sturdy camera, uh, tripod. I daren't take my hands off this camera because when you get a big gust like that, it lifts the whole tripod. Um, it is so, so windy. But it's that wind that's making the activity so frequent with the peregrines because they're hardly using any energy at all to fly about. And it's just, it's, it's in front of me now. I'm gonna go. Well, that was sensational. Um, he, he did several slow passes um, at, that was either at eye level or just below. And I was able to track the bird really, really well. Um, and I've been able to get some lovely shots, lovely shots of the bird at eye level or indeed below. So you're getting the bird in flight and you're seeing all the top of the bird rather than the underneath of the bird that you'd usually see when you're looking up. Um, it's hard to put into words what it's like. It is without doubt my favorite bird of prey, the peregrine falcon. Um, they just capture your imagination. The very fact that they're the fastest, fastest animal on the planet and they're right here in the UK, breeding and doing well. I mean, when you look at the, the bird, as a species, it's found on every continent apart from Antarctica. Um, so, you know, they are a successful bird. But they've been pushed to the brink of extinction. They really have. Things like the use of pesticides has absolutely devastated uh, the populations of peregrine falcon in the past. Bird collecting and egg collecting, two things that have, um, you know, been, been hugely detrimental on the numbers of peregrine. And then they're just a pure persecution. Um, I've just been speaking to a local guy who said that this breeding pair here have been persecuted in the past by what they believe is probably um, people who, who keep racing pigeons and they've climbed down to the nest and they've, they've either destroyed the eggs or killed all the, all the chicks. And they do suffer, they do suffer from persecution as any animal which is a raptor or a predator does. So the peregrine is still zipping about in front of me. It's been an absolutely sensational, sensational morning photographing these peregrines. I've got one to the front of me, which I think is the female, slightly larger, and then one to my right.
and they're just calling and, and moving backwards and forwards across this valley. Um, not seen any hunting, lots of displaying, and obviously we've seen the breeding and the, the, the dueling with other, other raptors, other peregrines and the buzzard. But it has been absolutely sensational. Um, well worth, this alone has been well worth the trip down to Bristol. Um, one of my all time favorite birds and I've loved every single second of it. I hope the video portrays that to you. I hope that the audio hasn't been completely destroyed by the wind. Um, I have got several more days in Bristol and actually the better of the days is looking like Friday. So there's a very strong chance that I might come back on Friday and see if I can't get some more of them. Um, but I'm gonna leave the video here. If you've enjoyed this, give it a like. Um, if you've not yet subscribed, I say it every video, but over half of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel. So please consider doing so. It makes an absolute difference for the channel. To all those people who've bought me a coffee, thank you so much. It makes such a difference. Um, if you've not yet bought a coffee or if you're somebody who bought one and would like to buy one again, the link is down at the bottom here. Uh, there'll also be a link in the description. And from the wonderful Bristol and the stunning Peregrine Falklands, until next time, ta -ra.